Receive my worship, all of my worship. Receive my worship, all of my worship. Receive my worship, all of my worship. Worship, Lord, all of my worship. Receive my worship, Lord, all of my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. And all of my worship, and I will not be silent, I will always worship you. On guess I am breathing. I will always worship you, and I will not be silent, I will always worship you. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Good evening, ladies. Good evening, ladies. Welcome to Fire Friday. Worship me as long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Yeah, we would always worship God, we would always worship the Lord no matter what because we were created for worship. Good evening, good evening. Welcome to Fire Friday. And um, tonight, we're gonna be talking about restoration. And um, that has been the word on my heart like literally the entire week. It's the word restoration. Restoration is coming to those who believe in this season. And I have just been worshiping, worshiping like literally the entire week. Why? Because I am anticipating my restoration in a crazy way. I know that some of you listening to me have stepped into a season of restoration as well. I've been through my different journeys and God is saying, I am about to restore things. I'm about to restore lost grounds in a way that will blow your mind. And I went, amen, Lord, blow my mind. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna share that with us tonight. I figured, why not share it with my sisters? It's a word for me, but I'm releasing that to everyone on the line tonight. I'm releasing that to everyone in the community and saying, if you are trusting God for restoration, we'll tap into it and believe that your own restoration is about to come. You know, and one of the words, the one of those, because you know, I always have to have a scripture. You have to go back to the word. One of the words that he gave me was Psalm 126. And for those who are following us on Instagram and Facebook, you saw that I actually posted that scripture, I want to say yesterday or two days ago, but the entire Psalm is speaking of restoration. And let me read it to you, Psalm 126. 
restore our fortunes, O Lord. And that's the title of the psalm. And it's just very short, like six verses. And it says, when the Lord restored the fortune of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like streams in the Negev. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. He who goes out weeping, bearing the seed of sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. Wow. I don't know about you, but that gets me excited. That gets me excited because I have lost grounds to restore. And I don't know about you. What is restoration? Restoration is God bringing back something to its original state but guess what god has a way of outdoing himself each time doesn't he isn't that why the scripture says that he does exceedingly and abundantly more than we can ever think or imagine every time he restores it is better than what it was originally right and so i held on to that word of restoration and I said, Lord, I am ready for restoration in every area of my life that I have lost grounds. And can I tell you that sometimes you're not even aware of the fact that you've lost grounds in certain areas. It's kind of like you don't know what was stolen from you if you don't know, right? Sometimes we know what we need restoration for and sometimes we don't. And I say that because someone might be listening and I'm thinking, well... I don't have any particular thing that I can say I'm really needing restoration for, but I'm just here to tell you that you, you may need restoration of things that you didn't even know were missing in the first place. You could need restoration of virtues that you didn't even know were taken away from you. You could need restoration of dreams that you didn't know you had in the first place. You could need restoration. You know, the other day, I remembered in boarding school and those of you, those of you who went to boarding school with me, you can relate to this. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm Nigerian. I grew up in Nigeria, West Africa. I went to high school in Federal Government Girls College or where, and I remember writing fiction in high school. I remember my 20 leaves exercise book. And some of you can remember that. I remember in the dorms on the weekend writing stories and writing fiction and I remember some of my friends reading my my novels and they couldn't wait to read the next one they're like when are you going to write the next one? when are you going to continue that story I don't remember the last time I thought about writing fiction now that was a gift from God that is a virtue. That is, a, that is something that God has given me. And somewhere in the midst of life, vamos. And who knows how much of my wealth is tied to writing fiction or writing, period. Right? So why am I saying this? Because you can have talents that are buried and you can have talents and gifts that are actually transferred taken away from you and god will need to restore that whether it was taken away or somehow it's dead and he needs to revive it and bring it to life that in itself is restoration i don't even know why i started telling that story of the book i guess somebody needs to hear that that God is restoring and reawakening gifts and talents within you. God is restoring and reawakening gifts within you. Reawakening dreams that you didn't know you had. Dreams that have been buried. Things that you have been desiring to do but were forgotten. I declare that a restoration is coming to you in this season. In the name of Jesus. And then there are those who know what they need restoration from. Some, you need your health restored. You've come to this place of tiredness, of weariness, some of sickness. And you've been believing God for your healing, asking for restoration, knowing that you are not yourself. For some, you're, you don't have a particular illness that you can place your hands on. 
but you just know that you're not yourself. I declare a refreshment and a restoration in your body and in your soul in the name of Jesus. For some, you need relationships restored. You've lost some key relationships in your life. It could be family relationships. It could be business relationships. It could be work relationships. It could just be disfavor from destiny helpers. It could be anything. Believe God for restoration in this season. It could be restoration in your finances. You just know that you're not where you need to be. Your money is just funny in this season. Believe God for restoration. There are many ways that God can restore things in your life. But it begins with you even believing. It begins with you having the anticipation for God to meet you in that place. It, it, it begins with your faith rising. You know? And not being like uh, Abraham's wife, Sarah. When the angels told her she was going to have a baby by this time the following year and she laughed. Why? Because hope deferred makes her heart sick. Because she had held onto that one thing for the longest time. She's battled for it. She desired it. And she just came to the point where she decided, you know what? It, it probably wouldn't happen for me. I'm too old. I'm too old could mean I'm too old physically. I'm too old can also mean I am so weary and tired of believing for this one thing that I feel like an old woman. I'm too old to birth. Like, I'm just too old to birth anything new in this season. It could be physically birthing. It could be spiritually birthing. Father, we break hope deferred right now in the name of Jesus. We declare an increase in faith. We come against unbelief right now in the name of Jesus. We come against disbelief in the name of Jesus. We come against everything that will cause us to question the wisdom of God and his timing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We can believe for restoration and we can speak it and declare it with our own mouths and say, Lord, I believe in restoration. I believe that you can restore. I believe that your word can still be manifested in my life. That's a word for someone. And including myself. I'm declaring every day restoration. Sevenfold restoration of every area that I have lost ground. Yeah, just say that to yourself. Sevenfold restoration of any area of your life where you have lost ground. Believe it in this season. And so just based on that, we're praying Psalm 126 tonight. Psalm 126 and verses one says that when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, you can put your name in this slot in your name. When the Lord restored the fortunes of blessing Chima Jonas, we were like those who dream. Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight for your message of restoration. We thank you, Lord, for your promise of restoration. We thank you, Father, for your covenant of restoration with us, your children. We thank you, God, that you were restoring fortunes to us in this season. We thank you, oh God, that the things you're about to do will blow our minds in such a way that it would look like we are dreaming. Father, we come into agreement with your promise tonight. We give you permission to bring this forth in the natural. In the name of Jesus. And verses 2 says that then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongues with shouts of joy. I declare joy over every heart listening to me tonight. I declare the joy of the Lord that is coming forth and bubbling forth even before you see that restoration. The Lord says that our mouths will be filled with laughter and our 
tongues will shout with joy and then it will be said in the nations how God has done great things for them. We declare that people would marvel at what God is going to do in our lives. Speak that over yourself. That people would marvel at what God is going to do in your life. That God will do great things. Great things that will be beyond us. Great things that will be seen out in the open, Father Lord. Lord, I thank you that you will glorify yourself in the stories of our lives. That you will take the stories of our lives and tell a facet of Jesus in a way that will cause people to say that God has done great things. The Lord has done great things for us and that we are glad. I thank you, Lord, for gladness. I thank you for the gladness of heart. I thank you, Father, Lord, that each heart listening to me is not deferred, that our hopes are not deferred, and therefore there are no hearts that are listening to me that are sick. I declare a life life into the heart, life into our heart, life into every dream, life into every vision, life into every desire, life into everything that you're holding on to right now, seeking God for in the name of Jesus. Hope is rising in the mighty name of Jesus. Restore our fortunes, O oh Lord, like streams in the Negev. Yes, Lord. Father, we decree restoration. We establish it. We quicken it. In the name of Jesus, we declare restoration of fortunes are coming. Restoration of fortunes. Maka sondras kote. Restoration of fortunes are coming. In the name of Jesus. Father, we believe it. We receive it. We establish it right now. In, the, in this realm. Father, as it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth unto us. We give you permission to bring forth what the restoration of fortunes we thank you for the storehouses in the heaven that houses every form of fortune Father, we give you permission for us to receive every fortune that belongs to each and every one of us. Let the storehouses in heaven open and release those fortunes in the name of Jesus. We declare that we are positioned that the doors are open. Father, look for you are the Lord that opens doors that no man can shut and you shut doors that no man can open. Every door that is standing in the way of the open doors coming from you. Let them be shut in the name of Jesus. Let the doors of our fortunes be open in the name of Jesus. Let everyone be positioned for restoration. Ah, cause you do need to be positioned for it. Lord, we thank you that everyone listening to me is positioned for restoration. That we are coming into alignment with your ways of releasing restoration. That we are coming into alignment with your thoughts of how how restoration will be released. Father, we are coming into alignment with your will. We're coming into alignment with your thoughts. We're coming into alignment with your process. We're coming into alignment with your method in the name of Jesus. And that he who goes out weeping, bearing the seed of sowing, you shall come home with shouts of joy. Oh, Father, we thank you that we have sown. Some have sown in tears. Lord, I thank you that joy is coming. Some have sown with good deeds. I thank you, Lord, that joy is coming. Some have sown in obedience. I thank you, Lord, that joy is coming. Some have sown in forgiveness. I thank you, Lord, that joy is coming. I thank you that joy is coming. I decree that joy is coming. I thank you for the joy that is being released, oh God. Joy is coming in the name of Jesus. Restoration is coming. Joy is coming. And you shall come home with shouts of joy. Bringing his sheaves with you. You are bringing the blessings of God with you. You are bringing the lessons of God with you. Not only has restoration coming to you. Oh, Sate. But you are bringing treasures, treasures in the forms of wisdom from that which you wept over, treasures in the forms of jewels from that which you wept over, and that which you wept over becomes your arsenal to release the kingdom to others. In the name of Jesus, restoration is coming, not only restoration of what was taken from you, but restoration of your voice. I don't know who I'm talking to. 
so that you can tell that story. I decree a restoration of your voice. You are going to tell that story. You will tell that story. You will tell it powerfully. You will tell it with passion. You will tell it in a way that glorifies God. You will tell that story for that was not even your story. That person that I'm speaking to, it was not even your story. It was the story of Jesus and he tells a specific facet of story of himself through lives. Uh, so that that made you to weep huh, is a story in the making and as your restoration is released, uh, you will tell that story powerfully. You will tell that story of Jesus that is demonstrated in your journey. You will tell that story. I declare a release of your voice to tell that story in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for restoration. We thank you that we will look and be ready radiant and our hearts will throb and swell with joy because of what you're about to release in this season. We decree it so in Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen. Whew. That's it for tonight guys. Short and sweet. I am meditating on restoration and I want you to do the same. Believe God for your restoration. Believe him for what he's going to do. Don't let doubt to creep in. Don't let the situation, however it looks right now, to dictate your confession. Believe that restoration. Write it down and decree it every day. Speak into it and say, Lord, I give you permission to release. I give you permission to release. I give you permission to release. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I give heaven permission to release my restoration. In Jesus' mighty and mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you. Have an amazing weekend, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.